Hi, in this video I'm going to show you quickly how you can use a, a VPN program to access the ITV Hub and other British TV channels irrespective of where you are. Now most of us who travel any amount of time uh, probably get used to seeing similar sort of messages to the one we've got on screen here. It's basically saying because you're in a certain location you can't watch this. In this case it's ITV Hub. So uh, my wife wanted to watch Love Island and she tried to watch it stream onto her laptop when we're on holiday and she got a message like this. So basically what's happening with the ITV you're doing here is they're looking at your IP address, seeing where it is and then routing it through to a particular location. So what can we do about it? Well, all the major uh, media companies in the world do this. It's not just restricted to GB, uh, UK ones. So um, it's worth looking at something like a VPN, uh, especially if you travel any amount of time or if you, you have interest in accessing a, a TV channel in a different country. So for this example, we're looking at ITV Hub. So what I'm going to do is show you how you can use a VPN to change your location to fool the ITV Hub and allow you to watch it. Okay, the one I'm going to use now, there's loads of these VPN programs and there's a big var variance in the quality of these. But what I'm going to do in here is show one called NordVPN, which is arguably one of the most popular. It's certainly the most cheaper, which is cheapest, which is probably uh, one of the reasons. Um, let me just show you here. It sits in my taskbar. It takes about 30 seconds to install. Uh, there's versions, this is the PC version, but you've also got versions you can put on your smartphone or your tablet, iPad, whatever. There's even a version that goes on Andrew, Android um, gaming devices, but I've not actually tried that. So, once you've got this version, um, you can see here we've got a little map with servers all over the world here, and a little list. This is the basic, there's only one sort of subscription, it gives you full access to everything. So in this situation, I want to basically use a UK server. So I'm not in the UK at the moment. So I'm going to click on the UK. And it's going to find a UK server for me to connect to. And here it is. It's connected to one of the UK servers. You can see this is UK United Kingdom 1226. I mean, NordVPN is probably the biggest VPN company in the world at the moment. Um, <clears throat> whether it's the best, I don't know, but uh, well, let's, let's just try it out here. I've been using it for a, a few weeks now. Uh, I'm in America at the moment, so I need a VPN. So let's just go to um, Google Chrome and let's slow, go to ITV Hub. Now, if you've not used ITV Hub before, it's basically the ITV's version of BBC iPlayer. So you can use it to watch any of the ITV programs or all the different channels live and you can look at their archive. So let's go down here and yeah, Coronation Street, there's a big favourite. Um, so we just click on here now. Now, if I'm normally in the US and I try and access this, I'll get a, that, a message there saying um, you can't access it. So we just click here and we should be able to see that it works perfectly well. Um, the ITV Hub, if you haven't got an account, you need to create one. So make sure you've got your VPN enabled before you create the account. It's not hard. It will ask you for a postcode. So you'll need to um, put in a UK postcode. As long as it's UK, it doesn't matter where it is. It can be um, Downing Street, Blenheim Palace, anything you like, as long as it's a valid UK postcode. And obviously, that's very easy to find. You can see here, it's just going through the adverts. If you're on the normal version of um, ITV Hub, you, it's a commercial channel, so you'll you'll have to watch the adverts. There is an essentials um, package uh, where you pay, I think, about four pounds a month, and you can watch it without adverts. But that's basically it. I'm going to stop it now here, but hopefully you can see it works perfectly. Um, so when I want any British channel, including ITV Hub, I just click on a UK server. So that's NordVPN. Um, it seems pretty good to me. It's been streaming fast. I've I haven't had I had one connection problem uh and I reconnected to a different server and it worked fine. That was on BBC iPlayer, not ITV Hub. 
Uh, I haven't tried it with most of the US channels because I'm in the US at the moment. Um, but I'm assured that it works on all US channels as well. I know for a fact that Netflix may be the um, exception there because you need a specialized um, VPN for Netflix because they block most of them. So um, that's it. But I've got a, cl- um, a link on the page for a um, special offer of NordVPN. Say so you can get three years, you can get a very, very cheap price on it. Uh, month to month, it's about middle of the road expense but um, if you want to commit for three years you can get it for next to nothing okay so that's basically it hope you've enjoyed my video and it's been of some use to you bye for now